Hi, it's David from Electric Teaching, and I'm back with part four of my quadratic formula uh, in Python. And now I've added Pi game. Let me just run the program for you so you can see what it looks like so far. Uh, let's do a 1x squared, a 0x, and a negative 4. Difference of squares, one of my favorite. And now, uh, besides printing the output on our shell of the symmetry line and the vertex and the x-intercepts there, you can also see that I've set up a Python window. And it has the title in there. And the X close button, as you can see, it pops up and it says close appropriately. And when you click on it, it exits the program and doesn't have any bugs so far. That's good. Um, once in a while, you may get a freeze during this or a Python may crash during running this program. Uh, it's happened to me about one out of every 10 times, and I haven't exactly tracked down the reason why. Uh, but for the most part, this works pretty well, and most I, I feel confident in, in everything I'm adding on to this is uh, good pr uh, game programming design. So let's move on. We're doing the graph paper now. So right under where we've made the scale in our main program, we're now going to add... Uh, excuse me, in our graph equations function, not in our my main, but in our graph equations function, we are going to add the information for doing the graph paper. And so the way we've designed the graph paper, or the way I've thought about designing the graph paper, is to do it using a loop, uh, a for loop in this case. Um, so let me write a comment real quick. I accidentally called the word comment script in part three right at the beginning. I meant to say I added all those comments on there. I apologize if you're following the video sequence. Let's see, draw a graph paper. So this comment um, is going to be followed by the loop. And the way you're going to do this loop is you're going to do what we call a for loop. And for loop basically means do uh, this set of routines or this algorithm or this set of instructions for as many times as I tell you to and numerically. And the way we do that is we run a variable, I usually use i, to control which iteration, that's why I use i, it's for control which iteration we're in the for loop. So I'm going to say for i in the range. In other words, do these instructions this many times in the range. And the range I'm going to use is range, parentheses, my width, divided by my k, my width divided by my k. So what I'm trying to do is set up graph paper that's going to put in a mark every k distance. So every k pixels, or in this case, every 25 pixels, I'm going to be putting a line across the screen. Okay. If I have 400 pixels big, you can now imagine that I'm going to have uh, uh, excuse me, 16 lines across the screen if this works out. Now when you do a for loop, it always starts with the first one at zero. So if this is 16 in here, since 400 divided by 25, 25 goes into 100 four times, that's four more, so that's 16, right? So if this is 16, basically it's going to go from zero to 15. Keep that in mind, it's important to know that. We're going to do a new variable here called grid x, and it's equal to k times i. So in this case, it's 25 times 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 up to 15. Same thing with the y. In fact, I'm going to copy and paste, copy, paste, and change it to be y. So what I've done now is I've got grid x and grid y being uh, the X locations on a screen. My screen is 400 pixels by 400 pixels. So uh, grid X is 25 pixels times 0. So at the 0 point, it's going to put a line. And then at 25 times 1, so at X equal 25. And then X 25 times 2, so at grid X will equal 50. And then 75, etc. Y will be doing the same. Now we're going to use a cool little Pygame game feature. The Pygame game feature in the drawing section of Pygame's games library, you can draw lines and circles and quadrilaterals and a bunch of things. You can go to pygame.org and find out all of that information. 
So if you do line, you're going to first have to tell it, uh, first attribute, first parameter, excuse me, is you have to tell it um, what uh, location. You're going to say to our screen, which is our, 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 our uh, window. And then you're going to have to tell it what color. I'm going to pick a light blue color, a light blue color using the RGB. So I went to a uh, uh, one of many different places where you can get RGB colors and picked a light blue color out. And then I'm going to tell it from what point to what point. We're going to get a little complicated here, so go with me. Grid X, comma, zero. So this is an X, Y. This is an X, Y grid. An X, Y grid. X, Y coordinate. And what I'm saying to do is go to the grid X, which is going to be zero the first time, as we said before, then 25, etc. But it's always going to be zero on the Y. Now, one of the things about this window that you need to understand is that it is upside down, and so it counts Y down. So that keep that in mind. We're going to need that information here in a second. So we're going to go grid X. So this is from point to point. We're going to draw from point to point to the height. And one is how many pixels how many pixels wide? Okay, so it's going to draw on the screen a light blue color, second parameter here, from grid X zero to grid X height. Okay, so uh, the best way to show you this is I'm going to use this little window that I've made. It has a lot of information on it, but just uh, help, go with me for the moment here. I just want to show you the window that we're making here. Okay, so we're going to be using this screen that I've made here to help us, this guide, Python quad form guide here. And what I want to show you is that this is 0, 0 on our window. Or excuse me, right here. This is going to be 0, 0 on our window. Our window is going to go from there to there to there. So this box right here. And this is going to be 0, 0. Way over here, this is 400, 400. So what I try to tell students, if you remember your basic algebra, this is quadrant one flipped horizontally. Quadrant one flipped horizontally. So here's the origin originally of, uh, of our, if you can imagine, on our real, on, a, on our XY grid of the universe here. And then what happens, we take it and we flip it upside down. I know this is getting a little complicated, so just go with the flow here. We're going to turn this window into this little grid that we have already in here. Later, then we're going to put the axes as well. So, But right now, I need you to understand that this is 0, 0 if this is our window. So this is the pi This is our screen window, our pi, pi game window here called screen. This is 0, 0. So when I tell it to draw a line at the x coordinate, that's x coordinate 25 right here, it's going to draw 25, and then it's going to draw it straight down to 25, comma, the height, which is 400. And then it's going to draw it from 50 over, that's 50 pixels over, and down to the height of 400. Oh boy, this is going to be hard to make sure you understand this, so I'm going to do the best I can with my uh, teaching skills here. Please forgive me if it's not clear yet. Multiple times usually help. Again, I'm going to go from 0, 0 to 0, 400, and then it's going to go to 25, 0, to 25, 400. So this is going to start basically making all our vertical lines. Copy and paste this line. Copy and paste this line. Okay. Now, we're going to make it a little bit different. I'm going to still go to the screen. We're still drawing lines. Still making it the light blue. But now we're going to draw the horizontals. We're going to start the horizontals at zero. So we're going to start the horizontals at the zero x coordinate. And we're going to say go up to the grid y coordinate. Grid y coordinate. Over here, okay, this is where we're drawing to it. Okay, we're going to draw to the width coordinate. Okay, and we're going to draw to the width x comma grid y. And again, one pixels. 
Okay, visually, this is starts at 0, 0. This grid Y kind of climbs the same way, 0, 25, 50. And so what it's going to do, let's go back to my little window here so I can show you. It's going to start drawing the horizontal. So it's going to draw from 0, 0 here to 0, comma, uh, Y coordinate way over. Excuse me, let me get that right. I have to come back. Okay, it's going to draw to width. All the way over there, that's right, width of 400, 0. From 0, 0 to width of 400, 0. The next one's going to go from down 25, okay, and it's going to draw from there 25 or 0, 25 over to width 400, 25. And again, it gets y gets bigger as we go down. That is the most complicated thing about game design coming straight off maybe learning it in math high, in high school math okay so if I repeat this enough times I should get a grid let's see if this is working or not so I'm going to delete some extra spaces I have here let me just get rid of these extra spaces so this draws our grid let's save and run it so save and run it it's going to give us some numbers. I'm just going to give us anything here. Oops, I'm not sure if it took the number right there. Yeah, let me run that again. I don't think it liked me there. So let me run that one again. <clears throat> I think it accidentally put in a wrong number. Okay, there's our grid. We've got our grid working. I hope you've got your grid working too. If yours is not working, make sure you just come back and look through the code. Let me give you a good view of the code. Closing the window still works. Let me close my shell here so you can see what I have so far. Okay, so this is what we've done with the grid. Okay, and again, this, we've done the graph equation all the way through down to here since part uh, during in part three. Um, I think we're going to stop here and call it quits uh, because uh, just getting the understanding of that um, uh, upside down quadrant one screen is very key. And I think in our part four, we'll, or excuse me, uh, in our part five, we will start graphing the equation. I'm David from Electric T.